Hi everyone, this is a super special impromptu legal limelight where I have the creator and owner of Tangle Creations, Richard X. Zowitz, who is going to chat with us today. And we're going to talk all things his company, his intellectual property, what he has in store, and also the recent Aritzia lawsuit that was filed by my wonderful colleague, Katie Kavanov. And I see Richard. Hey guys, good to see you. Hi, Katie. Hi. Hello, Richard. It's good right. to see you in person. It's in person as it gets <laughs> anyway with the cybernetics. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you, Francesca. Thanks so much um, for uh, wanting to be interested in this story. I'm really Really excited, Katie. Uh, your your litigation attorney is a very close friend and a colleague of mine. Right. We work together in IP cases. So um, when we heard when I heard about the Aritzia case, she sent it to me, and it was a big deal. You've yeah. been a long-standing client of hers, and it just hit the news. Yeah. I saw you on well, TikTok yeah, that was today. Part of the CBC <laughs> interview from last week that was on um, their uh, website yesterday, and then there was a video. Yeah, because she. She video interviewed me, and um, oh, it was so nice to to be interviewed about this circumstance because it's such a disturbing. And the more I learn about this company, the more disturbing it gets. But that's another story. Yeah. So uh -huh. we, I definitely want to talk to you about it. I first want to, I want to first want to introduce you as the creator of Tangle Creations and the amazing product that you've built that is for children and is in art museums and is just, it's this product that is so immersed in so many different mm -hmm. ways and with so much utility. Um, can you tell oh, us a little bit about your company? Um, well, Tangle is um, the company, Tangle Creations is the company that I founded in 1981. And um, it was based on essentially my senior thesis at the University of Hawaii, where I finally boiled all of matter down to something I called the tangle particle. It was the synthesis of what I believe all matter is. It's, it's twisted, it's void, it's solid, it moves. But importantly, what I learned in my studies back then is that it curves. So I'm, I have the belief that the universe, everything curves from top to bottom. So I've written about that, that that's how I came up with Tangle. Um, I was introduced to vortex energy very early in life uh, by a master of the brain that I studied with uh, and a gentleman from India who taught the uh, art history classes in Asian art, which I studied Asian art and philosophy and fine art sculpture in Hawaii. And he introduced me to the concept that everything curves and spirals and vortex and waves and circles. So since then, which is 1969, um, I have made it my life's work to embody that principle in something I call the Tangle Particle. And that's how I started Tangle. And I came up with the idea and then um, I took it to a trade show in 1982 and people bought it of all things. Wow. You oh. <laughs> sound oh, surprised. Like, wow. Who'd who have thunk? Because it was called The Infinite Sculpture. But everybody would ask me, what's a sculpture? It's not what was infinity. I guess that was everybody knows what infinity is, of course. But uh, of course, I'm kidding. Nobody knows what infinity is because it doesn't exist. It's a mental construct. But I have a definition for infinity, my own. Infinity is we, the humans because we can think of it. No monkeys, okay. no dolphins, no other higher brain mammals can tell you a darn thing about infinity. So it's us, it's infinite creativity, which is my mission. So I started the company based on that, a sculpture that you could reconfigure yourself. And you become the artist was the concept back then. And that's how I started. And uh, we have perpetuated the miracle, including my son taking over 
And um, then my grandson uh, is now in the business. So we have um, perpetuated a bit of a miracle with a twisty pl plastic noodle. But get back to the good part for you. I'm one of these people that says, I like lawyers. You know, you, yeah. you'll meet a lot of yes. people in business yes. like me. Ah, oh, lawyers, I hate lawyers, but I love lawyers. Uh, not me, not me, no way. Big heart lawyers because, <sighs> wow, I'm in business because of that, because of good advice and good people over the years. So uh, I've been fortunate that way, but the reason other than the fact that Tangle is a magical miracle creation, um, intellectual property, Francesca, IP. Yeah. I, I was fortunate that the universe provided people that came to me very early and they said, a, a patent. And then they mm -hmm. said, a copyright. Then they said, a trademark. And so certain other things I would, would protect. But over the years, copyright is the ticket. And mm -hmm. it's, my it's my favorite. favorite. It's, way it's my favorite. At the top of the list. <laughs> Tango has been in thousands of infringements, literally. Um, an associate of yours will verify that, Katie Kavanaugh from Thoids. Uh, is Katie listening? Are you there? Can she Katie speak? Katie is no? listening in. I think she's going to uh, oh, okay, comment gotcha. in. Right, so she anyway, got. Can, um, from her wonderful yes, friend, Conver. She had an issue. We've, it's uh, okay. We have um, <laughs> prevailed in thousands of cases of e -com. Besides the other cases I've had over the years of, of infringement. So Tangle has prevailed in thousands of cases and we are batting, you guessed it, 1,000. We've never lost. We've, we've prevailed with settlements or awards in one form or another in over 42 years. And that's the reason I'm here today is it is amazing. Amazing. And so that's a bit about the company. We've expanded into light up balls and, um, we have other therapeutic products. We're now doing an out, outdoor products called Light Active, where you wear them and they light up because we, we and it came up with a product about 10 years ago called Night Ball. So they're sporting balls that light up and they're a lot of fun. So what we're about as a company is getting people out either thinking or moving your body. That's, that's the secret to life. I'm 900 years old. And I don't look at, and I don't look at day over eight. So many. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're in, infinite. You were going to live. Infinity. <laughs> but Richard, um, I love what you said about like loving lawyers. That's literally why I have this platform is I want to change the perception that lawyers aren't these like people in suits that just yeah. want to charge you and nickel and dime and charge you a fortune for nothing right like i love being a partner to creators like yourself and biz and teaching creatives how to good for you really take their creations you. and turn good it for into you a because business. a lot of us creatives get screwed by mm -hmm. either stupidity or not in, not doing the right thing to protect yourself so and, and so how did you because that's what I kind of struggle with is uh, this education piece where I, I don't want to, you know, push entrepreneurs or push creatives. I just try to make so that they so that they understand. But what was it that made you learn oh. to love intellectual oh, property um, and see value in it? When um, I got my first patent, um, I, I just started out. It was like 1981 or 82, just starting. I was in Hong Kong. And um, I met a guy in the toy business and we're just talking in the lounge of the Hyatt Hotel. And he said, um, you gotta have a patent and you gotta register your patent and you gotta get that patent in Taiwan right now. First patent, he said, you gotta get it. And that was in 81. Uh, exactly. And I said, oh, okay. And, I, and so the, I, I got a patent in Taiwan. Don't you know that I was copied a year later by 42 companies simultaneously because this just after the peak of the Rubik's Cube and everybody was looking for the next one. They said, oh, the next cube, next cube, um, which it, it's better than that cube thing anyway. I'm just uh, curves. Who wants a cube? A cube. You know what cubes are for? 
Cubes are for squares. But you know, <laughs> I'm from the 60s. You know, we talked like that. People, people were, people were squares. Awesome, then. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that was the beginning. And then I met lawyers here, copyright, copyright, and I copyrighted right away, right away. Good I, for you. I, my my you training a lot as, of money. A, as a artist, I, 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 you know, was invaluable because I know the value of art. You have to protect it. You have to protect have to it in every means. It. And the other facet to this is that you got to, you, you, once you get that protection, you have to utilize it, use it or lose it. So if you don't then go after the yeah. infringers, and I mean every single one, and with China since the birth of their industrial revolution, their latest one, um, uh, hold on one second, my pup, my pup wants to, she's, oh, she's gonna sit oh, with my grandson. <laughs> She just had her jaw broken. It's terrible. And that's another story oh. I need a lawyer for, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, so <laughs> anyway, uh, that, that's the most important facet is the active, proactive uh, um, aggression t towards infringement. If you don't, you'll Hang be up. eaten alive. That's all I can tell you. You will be but eaten Richard, alive like, like a most... corpse with maggots on it. That's a, that's a good visual, ain't it? Most, most people, most people don't want to do it because they think it's a lot of, they think it's a ridiculous well, amount of is. money. So, so how have, have you I found have a, you know? a lack of fear about most things? And I have a lack of fear about spending money. I don't care. It's going to come back to me. It'll come around. It'll come around. You that. have to, you have to, I just learned some old school lessons from my father's generation, the World War II moms and dads. Uh, I learned certain lessons, but one of them was that you have to speculate to accumulate. If you don't spend the money, it ain't coming. It's just, it's gonna, you're gonna be conservative. That's okay. That's a good way to live your life. Nothing wrong with that. But in, in protecting your properties, you have to, you just have to go with it and and know that it's right. There's only one catch, that you have to have good lawyers and the protection has to be buttoned down. If it's not, then you got a problem. Yep. So there's lots of that. And there's, you know, just like doctors and other professionals, there's better professional in the legal trade as well. I mean, that's just the way life was never gonna be fair. It just ain't. We're born. We are. We are. We are born. And you just gotta find those good people. Our abilities are all different. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. So, um, you know, I, I, my recommendation is well protection and utilize it. But step number one, protect. Step number protect. one. That's why Katie and I work together so well. Is because. I am obsessed with the preventative, proactive, affordable, yeah. upfront, like let's protect your assets. Let's use, I say you have every, everyone has an IP mm -hmm. toolbox. And in that toolbox, there's different tools you can use. You can use trademark to protect a name or maybe even the design or the shape if it meets certain levels. Use copyright to protect the mm -hmm. creative aspects. You can potentially use patents. And even if you don't have any of that, mm -hmm. maybe it's a trade secret. Mm -hmm. So working mm -hmm. with entrepreneurs, even brands and businesses and creatives, anyone who has intellectual property, um, that's my favorite thing is to protect it early, give them a, a design, design a plan mm -hmm. and a global plan. That's the fun part, mm -hmm. the not so fun part, which is why I work with Katie, my the litigator, our amazing litigator, is because it becomes much more challenging and you need someone who is yep. amazing, fantastic, yep. and a great fighter. I call her the yep, hammer. Yep, yep. <laughs> and you need a Katie. So I give her the tools and then she does really the enforcement. Yeah, well, you make piece. a great team.